started. All right, I'll start the recording. Okay, well, hi everyone. Happy middle of the month. Yay! Yeah, yeah. how to get yourself fast? Yep, uh huh. Well, I don't know where y'all are on your goals, but most of us are nowhere near where we need to be by the middle of the month. That is normal. So you don't go into freak out mode, just so you know. You go into action mode. And um, what can you do about it? That the last two weeks of the month, this is the time to really kick it into high gear, okay? So I want to, I want to remind you that all the awesome things are available for you uh, this month and ways to win. Okay, inner circle. What are we getting to demo with inner circle this um, month? 3D. The new miracle set, um, 3D, we'll talk about a little bit later, but you get to be the first person, that, the first people in on you to actually try it on your face. Um, and it'll be at inner circle the first Sunday of the month. And so you earn inner circle by how? Ordering six hundred wholesaler more in April and you get to be the first, one of the first people to actually earn it, okay? And then of course, leadership training is beforehand. Those of you that are in your red jacket or above get to come to that. So I know you're all focused on that as well. Those of you who have any desire to be a director by seminar, um, I would highly recommend pushing to be in VIQ by May 1st <laughs> because that will give you two months to finish which has been proven that two months is probably the easiest amount to finish. Um, it takes a lot more effort and a lot more work to finish in one month. So if you wait till June 1st, you can still finish, but it's a lot more activity. So those of you that have any desire to, and we don't know if they're going to change the director qualifications, the IQ qualifications after this, this seminar year. So right now, this is the end of that window. Those of you that have been talking all year long about, yeah, 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 I want to get into the IQ next month, next month. No, there's no more next month. Like, it's now or never. That it's do or die, it's literally now or never that you push and get into the IQ, okay? So little little motivation pep talk, don't freak out, just get into high action, you know, get into, you know, we, we get it all, all in our head when we're not doing the activity we need to be doing, right? But we can, when we're doing the activity, then, um, then the confidence and the results are there and so consequently, uh, you feel great about things. So I would encourage you, to see however many faces you can by the end of the month, okay? I would see 30 faces in the next 15 days. You guys can do that and then career chat everybody, right? And you can easily be in DIQ by the end of the month. So who's gonna be in DIQ by the end of the month, people? Like, you're, gonna go, um, you're gonna be a director, but you're gonna be in DIQ by the end. That's what I'm celebrating for you. It's well, for her. April 30th. I will still be in DIQ. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so yeah. May 1st, you'll be done. Yes. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you'll be done. You'll be done. All right. So inner circle and leadership training. And um, those of you who want to be in the IQ by the end of the month, I would push, push to finish. Okay. So then power start challenge. Also, that goes along with your faces. And those of you that have a desire to earn seminar, this is the month to do it. Remember, this is catch up month. And so I don't care if you have zero faces in right now. You can literally change that. You guys, one of the reasons I've lost my voice is because in the last, I don't even, uh, the, the last week, I've seen almost 20 faces in one week. And so I don't care how many, I don't care how many faces you have right now, you can literally have parties. And that was um, four parties. Those four parties of five people, and that's 20 faces. You guys, it didn't take much time. Um, I party yesterday, and it sounds a little chaotic, but anyways. <laughs> no, right, right, right. no, no, no. Um, anyways, but um. Anyways, anyways, there were lots of little, little, anyways, that, uh, <laughs> we were going to go there. Um, but the whole point is that I don't care how many faces you're at right now, one week you could be 20 faces closer to your goal. What if you did, what if you did 20 faces each week for the next two weeks? You have 40 faces by the end of the month, and it happens with parties, parties. Four parties of five people is 20 faces. And that literally only took me uh, maybe eight hours tops, tops. Tops. And I got, I've already gold medal. I have five new team members in a week and sold over $1,500. I'm telling y'all it's about, and I'm not saying that to brag. I'm saying that get in front of faces. That is where it's at. It's got to get this product on people's faces. Um, and you can change where you're at. And I'm saying that to encourage you that if you have zero faces in right now, you can change that this week. Tell people, I have a goal. I need to, I need to um, get on it and be in front of faces. I need you. Who can you get together? Right? Okay. Mm -hmm. So faces, don't miss that. Um, prefer customer program. Um, we're going to talk a little bit more of that a little bit later today. So we're going to explain it a little bit more in depth. But the de the deadline is tomorrow. It's seventeenth, right? Yes. Yeah. It's seventeenth. Yeah. Okay. It's tomorrow. Um, 
biocellulose mast cell. I hope you guys saw that. We're going to explain it um, again tonight. We're going to talk about it. Did you guys see those pictures I posted on Facebook? Yes. I hope you all use those. Those are some pretty powerful pictures to use to sell the biocellulose mask. Um, that I would think once people see that, they're going to be sold and that they want to try it themselves. So we're going to explain a little bit more about it. But you get buy one, get one half off um, between now and the end of the month. So now it's the time to stock up on those guys because they're phenomenal. Um, the new product launch, I want you to put this in your date book. Um, the new product launch is going to be um, it is May 15th. We're going to have this huge like red carpet event where we unveil the product for your favorite customers May 7th. So if your customers are gonna to get to come try the new product on May 7th. You won't be able to order. Those of you that do the preferred customer program also get to order the new products on May 10th. That's another reason to do the preferred customer program. So you get to order them on May 10th. Everyone else gets to order them on May 15th, okay? Um, there is, we're gonna do a big product reveal. That's the first, I just decided to do that. So you're the first people I'm telling about that. May 7th, your customers are gonna to get to try it. Those of you that are in inner circle are going to need to try it on your face May 6th. You guys aren't going to need to try it on your face May 7th. That's for your customers. You, your, I want you earning inner circle, okay? Yeah, I want you earning it to put it on your own face, all right? I want you stretching this month and making great sales this month by doing faces um, so that you can be able to try it first. Okay, and then the last thing is, I have to pull it up because um, I want to make sure I, I quote myself correctly. Um, how can you earn the new products? You guys probably maybe know. I'm gonna pull it up. There's two ways, right? Yeah. Sales. Sales mm -hmm. and team building. Sales and team building. So sales. You order 250. You get. So there's gonna be a mini set of the new miracle set, a mini set. And so if you order 250 this month, you get one product from the mini. If you order 400, you get two products from the mini. If you order 600 wholesale, you earn inner circle and you get a full mini set. That means you both. I would use that as your demo. Um, so you'll be able to get a free demo from me. Because um, as directors, we get to order it on the 20-something, like the 20, yeah, 26, we to order it earlier. So we'll have it by the time, for you guys, by the time you guys can actually order it. Does that make sense? So that's why you want to earn it. So you can have it, you can demo it, be the first few people to, um, and then you order a 1,000, um, and you get one of the full retail sets, okay? You order multiples of a 1,000, you order 2,000, 3,000 this month, you get one, two, or three, of um, the miracle set, the new miracle set, okay? And then are you gonna earn by team building? How you earn it by team building? Moving up, moving up, new red jackets, get one of the minis. New, new red jackets, new team leaders, or new VIQ, get one of the minis. You on target for your car? Brand new consultants can go on target for their car with 5,000 or more, and five actually you get two full-size retail sets. Two, two, I'm literally giving you $200 once you've sold it. Do you get that? Because you get the mini to be able to demo because you probably are going to be moving up into a team leader position and then you'd also get two to sell awesome and then do ten thousand or more because i want you thinking bigger um you're gonna have five retail sets that's five hundred dollars that i'm giving you in sales plus your commission check on that it's probably going to be about twelve to fourteen hundred yeah depending on she's done it in her first month in business she went she did twelve ten thousand in production you go see 30 faces and you career chat, you share the business opportunity with every single one of them. You prove me wrong that you're not these 10,000 and they follow up with me. That's a very important thing. They follow up with your director. Every single one I'm follow up with the director or they're face to face or they come to an event. You're going to get a lot better odds. So all right, I think those are all the announcements. Oh, one last thing. Um, so um, Friday nights, we're doing Friday nights here. Jenna had great success with the, um, the color stuff. However, she's not going to be here this Friday night. There, where are you going to be, Jenna? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Her and Christina are going to be in Dallas. Are going to be at New Direct Presentation. So you're going to want to come back next week to hear all yes. about it. We're going to hear all about it. It's going to be so cool. I can't wait for them to go and experience it. And together, it's going to be really, really cool. Yeah. Yeah, and Christina isn't here tonight. Pray for her because she had a surgery just going on. Yeah, yeah, she needs a rest. So she, 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 she was gonna come today. I'm like, no, you need to rest because you need to enjoy yourself and your rest education. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. I, know. <laughs> I told her I don't want her there. No, <laughs> we love you, Christina. <laughs> we love you. We want you to be able to enjoy your rest education. <laughs> Yes, 
tell them about it. I've been wanting this buzz thing since I knew they got them, but then I just can't see the product. Yeah, we have that. But I have. give you like this whole like cool box, and so I have a normal dry combination on, and have like a, they give you a display and like all these fun. Have you tried it? I'm new. Yeah, I'm using it. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna use it for 12 weeks just to see because I love my repair. So mm -hmm. but I'm willing to sacrifice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I don't think it's much of a sacrifice. It's pretty good. Yeah, it's pretty good so far. Yeah. It's 110, so it's like 15 dollars more. But it does include an eye cream. That includes an eye cream, actually. So it's actually about, yeah, it actually is cheaper. Oh, there's no moisture. There's no, no, there's some moisture. Well, it's the day and night, and the Right. So it's only two face washes. Yeah. It does have the sunscreen, yeah. So you wash your face, like, You guys, I have sent out so much information about Sunrise 3D. Yes. No, so I'm just saying, be sure to plug into all of the, that information. Um, I don't know if you got, but but I will tag on with what Tana said. Like that is most exciting about it the is. director. I like it. All the new stuff. Yeah, exciting. <laughs> so you guys will get to try it in May. But yeah, yeah as a director, we, we get it early. We get it early. And as far as the time wise, um, I just want to say one thing really quickly. How many of you watched my video on In Touch this last week? I was on the, the I was on the Salesforce <laughs> highlight, uh, the highlight, whatever. I don't even know. I think that may still be on there. I don't know if they changed it on Monday. Go and watch it. They do a weekly Salesforce mm -hmm. um, spotlight, and they they spotlighted me. And one of the big things that I want to make sure you get get from that, and you can go watch it, but. Your attitude about this is everything. If you go into it and you're afraid, like, oh, I gotta, like, I gotta move this and this and that, this, this you're, you're, you're shooting yourself in the foot. This is a game changer for our business, but it has not changed the miracle set that we have now. Like, I've been doing these spaces. I'm out of miracle sets. I gotta order the old miracle set. And I'm gonna be ordering. I'm, I want to stock up. If, if, if you have any, if you like the old miracle set, I would stock up on it like nobody's business because once it's out, it's out. And they will, they're shutting down production um, once they do it with the new one, you guys. And so, um, but I'm just saying, this is not something to be afraid of. This is something to be excited about. And your attitude about this is everything. If you're excited, they're going to be excited. But just know it's a really, really awesome change that is really going to help our businesses immensely. Because what it's going to do is it's going to open the market also as far as, because it's also great for people with sensitive skin. So you can go back. I posted a lot of stuff. I hope that you listen to it there. There is just, it's really important that your current TimeWise customers, you, I gave you scripts and everything exactly what to say to contact them, but that you contact them now and let them know that their, mir their miracle set is going to be discontinued. They have an option to stock up. You guys can make a ton of sales right now um, and miracle set people stocking up, but you've got to get on it and start calling them now and, um, and maybe letting them know that, Hey, you may want to stock up. You know, it's going to be discontinued. Also the follow-up with that script was that I'd love for you to be one of the first people to get to try it in May when it comes out. So you can use it as a booking tool. Does that make sense? Um, also, I would contact all your customers who are not on the Miracle Set and ask them that you'd love to get their, their opinion of it. This is a great booking tool for you to get together with people. This is also great for people who have really, really sensitive skin and want more natural stuff because it's from more botanical stuff and more natural-ish stuff. So it's going to open up the range as far as people that we can actually sell to. Phenomenal. Yeah, I know my sister so you have a question. Uh, Mm -hmm. Yep, you said no parabens in it. Also, awesome. it's safe for pregnant women, mm -hmm. which is super mm -hmm. important. Mm -hmm. Are the mm -hmm. women currently have this too? Yeah. 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 I was just curious it's not the you have miracle set users mm -hmm. and then they try the new. Can they do a product replacement for the, if let's say they want the 3D and they don't want their miracle set, if they bought two miracle sets, could they do product? Like, let's say they, they don't want those anymore. They want to just switch to the 3D, but they don't want to use the miracle set anymore. Well, I don't know. I, I would do that. But probably, I'm saying yeah. if, if they're asking to do so. Then they need to do I'd say, I, I, I'd say no, I would say just use it up. Yeah. yeah I think that's that kind of shady. Right <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, but just know it's exciting, but also know that I, if, you have near, if you have a lot of miracle sets on yourselves, go do a bunch of faces. Go do a bunch of faces and move those because I promise you'll move them once you get this product on people's faces. You know? So. Did they record the launch? 
I've been looking for, I didn't get a chance to see it. I can't oh, the, the live thing. I think it was supposed to be um, up there soon. Oh, up there. It's supposed to be up there soon. Okay. Yeah, it should be up there later this week. Okay. And actually, Brianna, she told me to tell you guys, she's going to post a link tomorrow. Tomorrow night, she's doing training on the little flashcards that come in our bus kit. Yeah, and that. it's going to be just like a Q&A about the um, TimeWise um, 3D. And so she'll post a link if you want to um, join tomorrow night and just watch her. Cause, and I wanted her to do that so you guys get to know her a little bit better, too. So, yeah. Yeah. All righty, so we're going to do product knowledge. So is that you, Tiana, or Cody, yeah. or both of you? Okay, so swap with me, my friend, and uh, go for it. Where'd it go? Down there. Oh, oh, yeah. You say, I think it's on the floor. Courtney's brain is leaking. <laughs> 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 okay, is this is leaking. the two of us. And our boxer must have on the way here. I'm on the way and I'm like, oh yeah, do you have this? I need this. And she's like, oh, shoot, I forgot this. Can you turn back around? So I turned back around and I went into the house and I'm like, I forgot all of this. And <laughs> it took me an extra whole 15 minutes. Okay, so <laughs> the first thing I want to talk about tonight is our translucent powder. Oh, that's just awesome. I love this stuff so much. So, and I actually, <coughs> at our, at our, Facial on Friday. This was the one thing I was really excited to show, and I forgot it. But all right, I'm still learning um, this new class. So anyway, this is our translucent powder. It is sixteen dollars. Okay, um, it's a perfect shade for everybody, right? It looks crazy white, but it blends like you want. If I pass it around, like so you guys can tap a little bit out. Oh, oh yeah. Good job. I know. You guys know that our powders mm -hmm. have these little things on them, and you That's can open brilliant. and close. And when you have toddlers, please close it because yeah, they will get everywhere. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Still don't toddlers or cats. Yeah. <laughs> or if you're a klutz. So, uh, that too. one of the things I want to <laughs> So, one of the things I want to tell you guys about our powders is the milling process. And so, a lot of powders, loose powders, go through a milling process, and it's where they grind them fine and add the color. And um, a lot of powders only mill three times. Mary Kay mills four times. And so when you tap it, you can see it smoke, okay? And so that means your powder is not settling into your fine lines and wrinkles. It's actually laying on top of your skin like it's supposed to. So our powder, there's not a lot of powders that smoke when you tap them. And so smoking is a sign of a really good, high-quality powder, okay? Um, so no need for shade matching with this stuff, okay? Um, it's weightless and natural and velvety soft. It can, uh, it's going to control unwanted shine all day. Here, pass it around. Um, like tap it. Tap yeah, um, it provides a sheer invisible finish um, and it sets foundation um, and that's really important to know. Um, it contains light scattering properties designed to help soften the appearance of imperfections and what kind of scattering properties? Light scattering properties. Did I say something else? Oh, okay. So <laughs> what did I say? Um, let's see. Da, 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 da. It sets foundation. You can use it on greasy hair. You can put it on your like dry shampoo. Like dry shampoo. Yep. Yep. So you can use it in your part to absorb stuff. Wear it over your favorite liquid or cream foundation. Um, I don't know how many of you guys put powder over your foundation. Right. So this is an alternative um, to it. It does the same thing. It's just not adding any more color. So you still get your foundation look. Um, <coughs> excuse me. So to apply, you just dip or dust a powder brush and then tap off the ex excess. And then you, with a very light hand, just swirl it all over your face. Um, don't concentrate in any particular one area. Just get it dusted all over. And use downward strokes. Um, the reason you down use downward strokes, most ladies have some kind of peach fuzz on their face somewhere. And if you use upward strokes, all you're doing is coating those hairs and making them stand up. So down, <laughs> keeps the hair down, right? Um, and claims and benefits. Let's see. 98% of people said it feels weightless. 84% said it blends and it blends easily. Um, it eliminates shine, said 88% of women, and 86% said it provided sheer coverage. So um, I like our translucent powder. It's one of my favorite things, and it's really, really good about setting foundation. And I learned about baking. Who told me about baking? Are you there? Laura. Laura, okay, yeah, so you can use our translucent powder for baking, and what that does, where is she? Yes. Oh, I, I 
distracting. Well, I needed a distraction because I don't remember what she said. <laughs> <laughs> um, so what you do is like so right. So what you would do is like if you put on the under eye corrector, then you would take the translucent powder and put on a really, really, really thick coat underneath it, and that will set it, and then you brush it off. Yeah, 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 there she is. Is that, was that right? Yeah. And why yeah. do we why do we bake? Set that in there. Okay. For me, um, when she's really oily, so when I have your run unit is waterproof. So I bake underneath there. You're putting on the uh, concealer and the um, yeah, under eye corrector. Yeah, under eye corrector. You're putting both. You're really dark purples. Mm -hmm. You want to do the same thing. Bake it so that it sits in there. Nice and thick. Leave cool. it on for about five minutes. Brush it off. Okay. And then you're good for the rest of the day. Can you repeat the break baking process one more time? You, so you have a video on it. Ah. So you do the, you would do like the under eye corrector and concealer, and then you would put a heavy, like pat the actual translucent powder okay. into the concealer and leave yeah. it on for a while, and then brush it off, and it will have really set your under eye corrector and stuff. There's a video on it on the couch. Mm -hmm. Cool. Yes, ma'am. So another thing you can do is just right before you're putting in your eyeshadow, um, dab it. And, like dab it on there with the ink brush mm -hmm. on your eyeshadow and then you would brush it off and use your eyeshadow not to get on. Right. Yes, I totally heard that one before. Yeah. Yeah. You would use it with like the lashes that you have there and put it on your lashes and then go over it and give them a little bit. So if you have non it also helps thicken the entire area. So here you get really fine lashes and you can thicken them. Oh, cool. that sounds amazing. Yeah. Hey, this is a bad question to ask in a room full of Mary Kay ladies, but is anyone not wearing makeup right now? I just have the basic, the basic. <laughs> you don't have any makeup on it? No, 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 no. Oh, we can. It's totally up to you. It's your thing. Do you have a brush or a combo or something on No, she's going to have to do the mask. mask. Oh, the mask. Mm -hmm. Okay. I can go wash my oh, mask. Oh, like, <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Just Wait, it can be kind of messy. I don't know that we. I don't know that we should do that, love. I think it's great. I think that's really nice of you, but I don't think I think that could be a little messy. That could be super messy. Use the pictures, I would say. Use the pictures. Courtney said you would use that one tonight, so. <laughs> She wants you to open it. Yeah. She wants, to, open she wants it. to feel it. She wants you guys to feel it, which I think would be awesome. Yeah. So let them feel it. Yeah, if you're good with that. Uh -uh. There's a lot of good. Yeah. Yeah, there's a lot of good. Oh, tell us. Um, I actually take what's left over after I take my mask out. Like, I'll actually squeeze a little of the excess on the outside of the mask. Yeah. Back into the package, fold it over, and then for the next morning, I'll use it again and rub it all over. Nice, and nice. I, I put it everywhere. I put it on my body, on my feet. Like yeah, it's, it's amazing. There's a lot of product in there. So if you roll that up, right. even a fiber on the outside, just yeah. rub it yeah. on my skin. So, yeah, let's you talk about the biocellulose mask. Back. Yeah. Okay. Christina wanted me to tell you guys you should only bake cookies, not your makeup. Uh. <laughs> okay. So the biocellulose mask. Um, you'll see a visible lift in just two weeks. It's a Korean inspired beauty mask. Um, after a single use, it's going to increase your moisture levels for 24 hours. And your skin is visibly more radiant and soft, and I it is. 100%. No, so you can take it out and feel it, yeah, like take it out and actually feel it. Do it. Touch, touch it, girl. Touch, touch it. Wait, it's gonna drip. It's okay, gonna drip. it's gonna drip. Be careful. I, I don't know. We uh, maybe just touch it. Maybe just touch it. Maybe just touch it. Oh, sorry. Yeah, leave it in the bag. I think. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. Yeah, you got plenty. You can rub on the back of your hand. On your tattoos. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. The mask feels all slimy and it looks like aliens. What's that music skin. coming from? Oh, oh. a ring. I'm like, yeah. okay, where in the world? <laughs> Turn that off. It also scares small children. How many of you have tried the biocellulose mask? I wasn't trying to Ah, beautiful. Yeah. For this deal, so yeah. I can try it. Yeah. Now's the time to try it. Exactly. Now's the time to try it. Buy one, get one, half up. Yeah.
Yes, right, ma'am. Go ahead and tell us about it. So I used it um, one day before I went uh, went into work or before I. Oh, I know what it was because I was in a show, and um, so I wanted I wanted my skin to look really good. And uh, the next day, I ran into my neighbor, and she goes, "Oh my gosh, your skin looks amazing! What are you using?" And I went, "Mary Kay." <laughs> but it, but I think part of it was because I had used that as well. Mm -hmm. So no, it's yeah. one of the. It totally makes it instant, mm -hmm. and as soon as you take it off, you're like, "Oh, <laughs> yeah, it's pretty cool." And it mm -hmm. says it even here: great to use before a special event or a glamorous night out. Mm -hmm. in my bridesmaids packages. Oh, yes, that's a good idea. Yeah, yeah. That is a good idea. Yeah. So right. all these results are based on a four-week study, but people said that after two weeks, they saw that their skin was visibly lifted yeah. and firm. Um, some of the key ingredients are pretty cool. Oak kernel extract. Oh. What is that? Oak kernel extract. There's something about that. I can't remember what orchid extract. Did you know orchids are parasites? Yes. <clears throat> the flower? Yes. And then huh. sodium hyaluronate, known for its skin conditioning benefits. Hmm. So let's see. Um, da, 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 da. Leave it on for 20 to 30 minutes. Um, so it's a pure plant based material derived from coconut water. So the, it created fibers which interlock and make it more um, absorbent. So, and then they infuse the mask with a complex of beneficial ingredients, which were those three things I just listed. So, um, it's pretty amazing, especially if I don't get one half off, because they're 70, $70 retail. So, mm -hmm. it's a pretty good deal. It's only like $6 and some cents a mask if you. Does end up being like 52 for us for buy one get one half off? Mm -hmm. And it ends up being $6 and 56 cents a mask. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. So it's a pretty good deal. It's a great one to try for yourself. You yeah. guys are on my like VIP page on Facebook. I did the before and after just on myself. I looked really tired, but I did it. Um, and I could tell a different side by side of just my own pictures mm -hmm. after doing one. Yeah. Well, and another thing that people were saying about using it as your hostess gift, if your hostess is doing the party, give them that mask. Mm -hmm. If well, you're getting it at if you're getting it half, buy one, get one half off, and it's only costing you six bucks for your hostess right. breakfast. And if she tries it while everybody else is doing the skincare, they'll be able to see that huge difference when mm -hmm. she's done. That's awesome. So, mm -hmm. Yeah, they're going to want to try it. <laughs> so you guys excited about it? So, yeah, um, yeah I take Yeah, it's definitely. Yeah, go for it. I'm super stoked that Mary Kay's doing all this, like, like buy one, get one half off, or like yeah. a flash sale, yeah. invigorate brush. Like, because I, so I bought 10 of those brushes in like 13 or seven. That's why I bought them. But, um, <laughs> it's smart. It's and smart. I seriously spent like $300 and I've got $1,200 worth of products. That's awesome. So I was like super stoked. And the good thing about like the invigorate brush, they don't sweat. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I was like, oh, like, me. And I was like, yeah, right. I'm going to sell them. Right. And it's not like they're Even if you sell them a year from now, you're exactly. still making you don't go back more. Right. Mm -hmm. No. So Thank you. No, it's brilliant. Mary Kay is giving you an opportunity to make yes. more than 50%. Awesome. You guys, like literally they're giving us money that if you, you'd be crazy not to take advantage of these things. And here's the deal. I've never in 14 years seen them do this. Um, so I don't know. Nathan Moore is awesome, but, um, we got to take advantage of this stuff because if you take advantage of it, then they'll offer more, you know, you go offer more. So yeah, I love that you said that Sonia. It is smart to stock up. It is smart, smart business decision to stock up on inventory, to stock it up and think like a business person and actually have it there. Um, that now's the time to stock up if you were ever stuck up. Mm -hmm. Right. So if you get like Kettle's with 500 bucks, but you can sell them, you're more than that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so I, 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 yeah. Well, that's that's awesome. right. When you think of other companies like Rodin and Fields, they, I think they give their consultants. 25% right. off or something, we're getting more than 50% more than 50. off. Like, yeah. Our company gives a crap about us. That, yeah, <laughs> and they want you making money is the thing. They want you making money. Yeah. So, yes. so. Yes. It's not just turn around and no. Yeah. No. Yeah. Absolutely. Exactly. They're, yes. They want more money in your pocket. 
you guys, they care about you. But they're, because they're selling it that way doesn't mean you have to sell yeah, it. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Because you guys, it cuts into Mary Kay's profit to offer that. Absolutely. Do you realize that? that? But they, because they want the profit going Mary to Mary us, Mary. not to the corporate, not to the shareholders. They want it in your pocket. And yeah. so I'm glad that you brought that right. up. So Absolutely. Absolutely. What were you going to say? Sorry. No, that is. No, yeah. So amen. So take advantage of it. Okay. All right, good job, Jana. Okay. Now we're going to talk about something that we have not talked about, I think, in a very, very, very long time. And um, and that is how to take really good care of your customers that you already have. Because here's the thing is um, those, those of us that are doing a lot of faces, yes, it's great to do a lot of faces, but it takes a lot less effort to keep the customers that you have than to go and build new, 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 new that you have got to make sure that you're taking care of the customers that you do have. Because if you take care of your customers, you will literally have a customer for life, okay? How many of you feel that you are awesome at customer service and taking care of your customers? A few of you, okay, good, good, good. Yeah, there's about three quarters of the room who is not. And those of you that are great about it, I'd love to have you share some tips, you know, encourage the other, the everyone else. But Here's what I know, and there's several of you that are new. If you start now to implement some of these things, it can really help you because I was not. I was definitely in the category of not being great at customer service, and I've had to go back, and then I butchered it. It's been too long. Like, who are you? You know, so <laughs> if you take care of your customers now, you will keep them for life, okay? So here's just a couple um, customer things you can do to keep your customers um, happy. First of all, follow-up is huge, okay? So after you make a sale, um, we have a rule of Mary Kay called two plus two plus two or three plus three plus three. Either way, um, the three, I like the three because it, it lines up with the PCP program. I'll explain in a minute. So basically after I make a sale, three days afterwards, I'm following up with her to just see how she's doing. Now, let me backtrack that with, um, when I sell somebody something, I say, Amanda, it's my job to make sure you absolutely love this. So I will be following up with you in a couple days. And then a couple weeks just to make sure you're loving it, okay? So I want you to know that when I'm following up with them three days and three weeks afterwards, it's not for a sale. Literally, my conversation is, we had, I had such a great time with you the other day. I just want to make sure how you do on your products. Are you using them, smiley face? And are you loving them, you know? And, and there's been several times people are like, oh, I have you got cancer, try them, you know? But you're, you're there for them. Does that make sense? Um, so I follow up with them three days and at that point, if they have any issues, they're going to be able to tell right away. Right. And then three weeks later, they should be seeing some significant results. So two to three weeks later, you want to follow up with them. It's the same kind of conversation. Hey Amanda, this is my, just my checkup. Just want to make sure you're doing all right. How are you doing on your products? Are you loving them? How's it working for you? Does that make sense? So it's that kind of conversation, but that follow up is huge. And then after that, most of us only contact our customers once every three months when the preferred customer program comes out. So here's a little plug. I mentioned that earlier that the deadline for preferred customer program is tomorrow. And even those of you that are brand new, yum, you can sign up for it. And basically next month when the, when the new product launches, they're going to send a catalog to your customers. Now they will probably sell out of the sample, but they usually put a sample in that new catalog. If you wait till tomorrow night, you may miss out on the sample. So I would go home and do it tonight if you have not already done it. Sign your customers up for the preferred customer program. They're going to get a sample of the new eye cream. That's what they're going to get. Okay? And, and then they'll have they it. run out of samples, it shows them the catalog. Absolutely. It's seven to six months to purchase. So even if you don't have, even if the brand name don't trust us yet, sign yourself up. You get mm -hmm. a catalog. Cool. Mm -hmm. And our new catalog. You didn't even talk about the catalog, but it's beautiful. It's gorgeous. I love it. It is the best catalog. have everything set up and all, it's just, no, no, we don't have, no one's seen it. They have only us, Jimmy and Janet, the only ones in the room that have seen it. And it's just the way they have it set up and they have it, they've done it all different. Y'all want to be directors? Yeah. Secrets. Secrets. Yeah. I like how they have the catalog set up and I've actually gotten more comments and calls from the catalog now because of how they have it set up and I have prior. Mm -hmm. so. Yeah, it's really cool. So the new, she's talking about the current catalog too. And yeah, the, yeah, the, the one that, from now on. Yeah, not the one that came out last yeah. year. And so you sign them up by tomorrow night and then next month they will get the catalog sent to them. So you have to mm -hmm. sign up by now. Um, and that gives you a reason to follow up with them 
next month and say, hey Amanda, did you get the new catalog? Have you tried the new product? What did you think about it? I'd love to have you be, did you see if we have a new miracle set? I'd love to have you be on my test panel and get to try the new product, be one of the first people to try it. So then when they get the catalog, it gives you a reason to contact them every three months. So that's really kind of the, the, the rundown of, I follow them a few days afterwards, a couple weeks afterwards, and then every three months with the catalog, okay? And it keeps your name in front of them um, because here's the deal. If your customers have not heard from you in the last year, they don't have a Mary Kay consultant. You get that? That's the rule of thumb. If you're, and, and that's the rule of thumb when you're asking people, if you're meeting people like Chelsea met some people at an event and they said they had a consultant and I said, you know what? Um, I, I would encourage you to follow up with them and ask them who their consultant is. And because a lot of people, they don't know who the name of their consultant is. They may say they have a consultant. Then, so my, my next question is, awesome, Savory, what is her name? If they don't know her name and they haven't heard from her in a year, she's fair game. Yep. So I'm saying that to put that out there that shame on you if you haven't contacted your customers. I'm speaking to myself because they are fair game if you haven't contacted them in the last few months. Okay? And then if it's been a year and they don't even know your name, they're probably not going to have a consultant. Right? And so the catalog keeps your name in front of them. I wanted to touch on the follow-up thing just a little bit. I sold a my first clear proof acne set this week. Mm -hmm. And so I followed up with her to see if she was trying it yet. And she goes, you know what? She's like, the first two days, I really didn't think I liked it. She's like, the moisturizer was kind of watery. It didn't feel like it went on right. And she's like, I have no oil on my face right now. She's like, I am in love with this product. <laughs> yeah. And so it took her a couple of days, but she yeah. realized that she loves it. Right. And that's why it's so important doing like a couple weeks too, because then if they're still not loving the product, then you can work on product replacement and getting something else right. on their skin, not giving them a refund, but trying something new. Right. And that's and one giving thing them a that, couple weeks, not just a few days. Exactly. Cause you want to make sure be like, okay, well give yourself a little bit of time with it. Cause you may not love it right off the bat. And then like yeah. know that, notice that your oil is not producing as fast right. as it was. And then the two month thing or three month thing is huge too. Like that's how I'm making all my money right now. Like I was on vacation, I did faces, but I didn't work that hard. Like I really didn't work that hard this week and I sold over $300 and it was because I was calling people and being bold and being like, Hey guys, just wanted to talk. Like, how are mm -hmm. things? Good, mm -hmm. to, good to chat with you. Okay. Now how's your stuff? Right. And okay. they, you can just tell the appreciation in their voices too. And mm -hmm. it's, it's fun because like I didn't really get that and now that I'm two months, three months into being a Mary Kay consultant, I actually get to touch base with these people and it's a lot of fun. And it's and you build it's relationships. Mm -hmm. It gives you a reason to build a connection with them. So the more of a connection with them you can have the better. The other thing that I like to do for customer service is um I like to send a thank you card. Mm -hmm. A thank you card right afterwards. Oh, Jenna, tell us about that. Tell us about a thank you card. Um I send a thank you card to my Yes. My customers are nice too, and they send me cards that are kind of over them. So I have some really good customers that are actually, I feel like we're friends because they've been with me so long. Like, I know more about their life, but I also try to drop um, random little gifts or when they order from me, and I don't do it as PDS, I try to do the same thing and give them samples or something that I think they might like. Um, so I don't know. Do you just do like a regular handwritten thank you card? Uh -huh. Yeah, like actually handwritten thank you card. And have them there They're like so ready. They, you would, people don't handwrite cards mm -hmm. anymore. They don't handwrite cards anymore. So that extra little touch, it costs you a stamp. So, 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 so worth it. And just tell them, make it personal. Like Jenna had a great time with you, you know, and make it personal about whatever y'all talked about or whatever. They, 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 they will cherish those things. And, and the other thing too, um, or, you know, either, or you can do whatever, but here's something else powerful you can do is how the presentation of your products, especially your reorders is huge. Okay. So, and this is an area that I've definitely, um, that I delegate because my sister's really good at it and I am not, but you can find little things that you can do to make the presentation awesome. So this especially can help with reorders, which by the way, Whole total side note, um, I was going to say, having inventory is a huge advantage for customer service. Huge advantage. Your sales will quadruple and people will stick with you if they have inventory because sadly, they when they run out, they need it like right now. And my customers like that they can message me and say, hey, Candice, I need this. And I'm like, all right, I'll, I'll deliver it to you tomorrow, you know, or get it to them tomorrow. But, you know, so I pull it off my shelf 
and then um, put it in like a cute little bag, put some little fluffy, you know, paper in there, put um, some chocolate in there, make it just fun. You know, um, Sherry, she's really good. Sherry goes all out, like Sherry Slavin, awesome director. But she literally sells $2,000 a month in reorders because her customers love the way she takes care of them because she gives them this big fancy bag every time they reorder. She has tons of inventory, but she also always puts in um, a little chat, the thought of the day. That's what I was. And uh, she gives special chocolates from the Mountain Man. Special chocolates. Yeah, that she includes in. So she makes it definitely like a one of a kind package. Yeah, right. Right. Word of the day, her thought of the day. Yeah, so she has little thought of the day. Yeah, just make something special. Maybe you like to throw in one of my friends, she throws in these special mints that she gives just to her customers and like fun little things to make it special and your own. And Jana said, throw in samples. One thing that um, is important because you want to build, if you want to build a big customer base, you want a customer base that's deep and wide. What that means is you have a lot of customers on a lot of different products. The average consultant has several customers on one or two things. Maybe they went to a party and bought a foundation primer or they brought a CC cream or they bought a moisturizer or they bought whatever that when they're reordering, that is your opportunity to expose them to other products. So let's say they order a CC cream. I'm going to put in there the opposite skincare. If someone's a skincare customer, I'm going to put in color samples or whatever, because I want her or perfume samples and get her exposed to different things. She's not using right now. Does that make sense? That you want to build customers deep and wide, and you do that by having getting them exposed to other things. Another great thing you can do for customer service is you have multiple, like your follow-up appointments. I don't think we really maximize a follow-up appointment and how to utilize a follow-up appointment, but a follow-up appointment is supposed to get them exposed to other products. And it's another reason to get in front of them and build that relationship with them, but it also gets them on other products, okay? So, I have a follow-up appointment. You do whatever you have in your inventory. A follow-up appointment looks different for everybody, but let's say once a quarter, you, like I have some girls that I know they meet with their customers once a quarter and do a different type of party. Maybe summer's coming up, they do a pedicure party. Then they do, they can do a biocellulose party. You could do a masking party. You know, you can do a, a color thing and do full color with the brushes and everything, but it gets them exposed to different types of product. Does that make sense? And that will build your customers with more depth instead of and having them use more products and more variety instead of just a couple different things. So you can do that through samples or having them book a different type of party. Um, and I mean, there's, like I said, there's some hostesses that they literally will book up one party a quarter, you know, and just try something new and get them in front of different people. And then you look at some of your stuff that comes out of it. You don't yeah. have to have a limited edition party. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Have you guys ever, have your customers ever told you what the packages look like that come from your UK if you do CVS? Yes. yes. They're amazing. They love them. They're right. absolutely gorgeous. They open them and it's like, oh, gorgeous. Mm -hmm. And then little samples and it's just beautiful. Oh, yeah, yeah, and and samples and everything. My yeah. stepmother bought some from California and she was like, cool. And I didn't tell her I, I wasn't giving her my inventory. The next day she goes, oh, I just got an email. That it's on the way and then she called me when she got it she goes it is gorgeous what do you do i was like well i just pulled string yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> right and that's yeah. the right. thing that they do because i am i i have a have always sold stuff online, so I was shipping everything myself, and shipping's gone up. Shipping products yourself is expensive. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 So yeah. 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 Well, yeah. and you have to have yeah. pro pay. Yeah, you, you just have, have to have pro pay. But yeah, and you don't have to have pro pay. You can run a credit card on there. I tried it without pro pay, and you do have to have pro pay. You have to have pro pay to do CDS, yeah. Um. But yeah, like um, no shipping has gone way up. But if you're gonna yeah. ship, use CVS for sure. But different samples that you right. might not have in your own inventory. But I also think if they're local, deliver it. Yeah, mm -hmm. deliver it. Do share, share that example. Just share that. Share what that is. Like I have a bunch of limited edition stuff. I have a box, and my stuff I caught my seven dollars box, and it's all my limited edition stuff that I still have. But I take it with me, and I let people just. Rifle through it and upsell them 
or take, you know, some gift set because Mother's Day is coming, put that body stuff together or something and just take it with you. And I guarantee that one sale will always like go up. I try to have all my customers come in the house and have like a store. And so whenever they come over, they're like, oh my God, oh, what's this? What's this? Okay, just throw it in the bag. Okay, just throw it in the bag. So. Yeah, they can see and you have all your inventory there and you let them try it and see it. I mean, they, it, it, it's powerful. Um, no, you bring up a great point that when someone calls you for a reorder, if they're local, I will literally ask her, Hey Jen, can I stop by at your work? And, um, if you have 10 or 15 minutes, I can just show you some of the new stuff. So, and, and because if you just drop it off now, you will find that there's some people who don't want any relationship with you. And I definitely have those customers that they don't want to talk to me. I drop it off. Give me the money. I don't talk to them. I haven't seen them in years. Okay. But most of my customers and you will have those people. But most people, right, and, and you, you will get those people. But I would say if you can, um, I would go and, um, so I'm just saying don't force the issue, but you, um, I want to go to her work. I want to get, I want to connect with her and I want her to try new products. And so it gives me an excuse to connect with her. So, for example, and here's another fun thing you can do, okay? That, that, this right here, I've never done it, but it sounds freaking amazing. Um, so let's say Jen has a reorder. Let's say it's a mascara. And I say, um, can I go to your work and drop it off? And you have like five minutes, I can just show you some of the new stuff on the back of your hand or something. She says, sure. So I show up with this gorgeous bag, gorgeous bag, all the foo-foo, the samples, and the chocolate, and, a bal and balloons. Balloons. Like literally balloons. Like literally balloons. For an Oscar. Like, um, and then you're walking through her office. <laughs> Balloon presentation. They're like, Jen, is that your birthday? Like, what's going on? Like, but you make a big deal out of her, even though that's a silly mascara. The presentation and the um the feeling, the special feeling, and also dude, her coworkers are like, Wow, you're Medicaid lady, like you're, you're setting good. up for a party. What yeah, you and you're setting up to get leads. Like you go into her office and you know may maybe do something where you do. Um, we're gonna talk a little later about like an office of the week or do a an appreciation or something to the coworkers. That's a great way for you to get new customers. Um, are her coworkers and yes, setting up for a party because y'all gonna be like Jen. I want to oh, try your Mary Kay customer consultant. So then, how you do this? Hold on one second. So then you you make the sale, you do the whole thing, and then. Um, or he's not officially there, but I'd let her try all the new stuff, like what Jan is talking about. Take a basket of maybe some new new stuff, or like right now, the set hands handsome body. You know, take that in. Um, you know, show them just a couple fun things that we have, and just say, hey, I wanted you to at least try these. Have them just try it in the back of their hand and just experience it. You know? And like Jana said, a lot of times, if it's there and you have a little basket of it and you're taking it in and walking in with it, people are going to want And then guess what? The coworkers are going to be like, what is that? What is that? I want to look. I want to look. And um, you get her information and say, you know what? I would love to do a full facial with you. Here, put your name and number down, and I'll contact you and get your opinion. You know what I mean? So little things like that are huge. Okay. Here's your question. I was just gonna say, I uh, recently bought something from you all, like three, four months ago, actually, six months ago. It took me like I kept calling her, saying, "Well, you know, Jen's trying to come pick up my stuff." And our schedules just kept colliding. And I was telling my son, I'm like, I mean, seriously, she should have delivered it. I even offered, can I get paid through PayPal? And you just get it in the mail for me. Like, she should have came to right. me. She right. should not have been holding my products for five months. Mm, for five me. months, yeah. And yeah. then, like, I yeah. literally had to go to her oh my to gosh. finally get it. I was, I was yeah. sad. Yeah, and you won't go back to them. Don't get customer service. Don't get customer, a great yeah, example of. delivered it. Yeah. And, and you would do whatever you could to get it yeah. to her. Obviously, even if you can't connect, get her her product. Absolutely. Yeah. Get her her product. You want to be able to get her stuff ASAP because customers yeah. like that. In our world nowadays, like oh, I've been told, and some of y'all heard me say this, but our biggest competitor is not other products because we sell a phenomenal product. Our biggest competitor is convenience. Yep. It's the convenience piece and the fact that, that they, if they run out of their mascara, if they can just go to Ulta and get it right away, um, they will. If they have to wait a month to get their mascara, if they have to wait for you to order it and then collect an order and then, you know, deliver it to her. It's, I mean, you've lost the sale. You know what I mean? That's why it's so powerful. 
I didn't have inventory and B to get her her product A step. Please do not pull what uh, Alicia just talked about, you know, from another business. That is not good customer service, right? You want them coming back to you over and over and over and over and over again. No. Do a mascara. If you're selling someone one mascara, do a mascara club. Upgrade them. Right. Be like, I will get it to you every three months. You will never have to worry mm -hmm. about your mascara again. Yeah. And I've I've had a few people. Tell them about the mascara club. That's a mascara great idea. Club. It's a great it's super, idea. Super, super Tell easy. them what it is. Yeah. You charge them full price. I, I actually just had a girl last week sign up for the mascara club, and I gave her one free mascara because she did the last lash intensity while we had the logo deal. And mm -hmm. so she got her mascara club for $60 instead of $78. But $78, I just did a blanket price. Even if they get the ultimate mascara, they're still paying the mm -hmm. blanket price. And you just tell them, they say, okay, you get it to them every single three months. I wrote it down in my book so I know every three months when to go to their house or work and deliver yeah. it to them. Yeah. That way they know to replace their mascara every three months so it's not growing gross. Mm -hmm. Yeah. whatever <laughs> stuff on your eyelashes and it's easy to replace they don't even have yeah. to worry about it think yeah. about it ever again and they've already paid for it like exactly it's cool. paid for it. yeah Most or or i've worked yeah, yeah they pay for they it pay for, for four they pay for four at once so right for a whole year of master or, at 78 bucks with tax with shipping everything I just is that like, giving them a deal um, um it's not it, it actually no. isn't it's okay. if you have to ship it it's giving them a deal right but without a with no deal whatsoever, 78 bucks, any I mascara they it. want. If they want the ultimate the first time, they don't like it, try the lash intensity. That way you're not having yeah. to worry about losing money at all. It's just 18 yeah. bucks mascara plus tax. And then you just- And I've it. done like buy three, get one free or something. Mm -hmm. So that, and then they get it yeah, and every- Yeah, you can usually do whatever like thing you did. Whatever. I just and did I, the blanket price, top right. price, and I've sold it, so. Yeah, hey, we're so, ahead. Hey, <laughs> Yes, sir. Yep. Yeah, we're going to talk about that. We're going to talk about that. Administrative Assistant Week is um, April 25th. Uh, no, it's right. No, no. We're, we're going to talk about, yeah, no, no, no. No, it, it's exciting. No, we're, we're going to talk about that because that is a huge money maker and a huge reason to go into offices and get some working, working women. Okay, a couple of things that I do for customer service because I know I'm going to have to go in there in a minute is I offer a birthday club. That's a really great idea too, is to offer a birthday club. And at the beginning of the month, um, I used to do this all myself, but I have my assistant now send out um, birthday cards at the beginning of the month. Like I don't even try anymore of like trying to send out near that thing. I send at the beginning of the month, all of them, like all the April people, they got a birthday card sent out the first week of the month. And it just says, um, happy birthday. Uh, my gift to you is 20% off anything you want this month in April, you know? Like super simple, but little things like that keep your customers, mm -hmm. right? Little things like that. And I, so I give them 20% off their entire birthday month, you know? So that's something fun you can do. Something really simple you can do to get your customers on is the Mary Kay E! News or the Beauty News. Mm -hmm. um, which total side note, I hope and pray that you guys are using the My Customers app. It's the best. How many of you use the My Customers app? Okay, if you're not, you're missing out. That that, that is like, oh. okay, I used to pay. Yes, it makes your life so simple. You guys, I used to pay for, I feel like I'm like the, the old lady in the room who's like, ah, we had to pay $100 a year for a system that would keep track of all our inventory, would keep track of the follow-up, would keep track of what our customers are using. Now it is free for you on your phone. It is awesome. It is so cool. Exactly. And it gives you, it is brilliant, you guys. So I hope you take the time to use it and input your customers. Um, and so for, for those of you who don't know what it is, it is an awesome app that is going to keep track of all your customers, everything that they've ordered from you, um, their anniversary, their birthday. You can send anniversary cards too. has all of that in there. And then it even tells you when to follow up with them afterwards. It also keeps track of your inventory, which that is a godsend. I can't even tell you how many times that, I, like literally that old system that I paid money for, never had my inventory right. This thing, you, sure you scan it. No, I know Pam used to work for me and she'd be like, oh, Boulevard, I hate Boulevard. Uh, I want to kill, yeah, poor Pam. Pam here, Pam understands. Y'all have no clue. Yeah. This app, Awesome. Yeah, use the app. Use the app. It is free. 
The e-catalog app yeah. has all the catalogs and you can text them to people. So if someone says, hey, yes. so if someone says, hey, do you have a catalog? I literally texted it to my friend today and she's like, send me a facial in the bag. Now I got your catalog. I'll place one next week. She hasn't even gotten her facial in the bag yet. I haven't even sent it. And she already wants to make an order just by me texting the catalog. What? Yeah. I'll show you. It's yeah, amazing. amazing. <laughs> it's amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Isn't that awesome? I know. Y'all don't, here's a little side note. I, I hope that you guys don't do this. Don't need much, you don't need a lot of catalogs. If y'all are giving out catalogs, everyone, yeah. you're wasting money. Technology is awesome. All right, so y'all can do a couple questions. And then, um, I think I'm going to have to stay. There we go. Okay. Can I share a bad story? Oh, yep. Yeah. Bad story. Yeah. Well, everybody's talking about <laughs> good customer service. I just want to share a fail. Oh, um, my cousin invited a friend over, and she bought like over a hundred dollars worth of product, sat in hand, sat in lips, and some perfume. Well, she wasn't very personal, so I didn't like follow up. I thought she was kind of just doing a favor for my cousin, and so. A couple weeks ago, I was doing a 24 and 24, you know, my 24 sale, and I had just sent a text to everybody that had ever been a customer, and she goes, well, I might buy something, but I really wasn't happy. She never told me. She gave the perfume away, and if I would have followed up, I would have known. I would have been able to take care of her. I would have, I would not have let her sour taste or Mary Kay in her mouth. And so, like, I had been thinking about it. I'm going to put a little gift package together and, like, drop it off at my cousin's to give to her. You know, but if I would have followed up in a couple days after or two weeks after or whatever, I would have known this and I wouldn't have felt like a complete fool. Because I'm like, what? If you didn't give the perfume away, I could have got you something else and everything. It was just, it was, and I was texting Courtney, like, what am I supposed to say? I feel like crap. So don't do that. <laughs> Learn from me. Don't, don't do it. Follow up. And you yeah. know, too, from your My Customers app, you can do a group text, you can send group email. Um, and so that's pretty cool, too. If you have a real fast something sale that you want to do, you, can, you can't add pictures, which is annoying, but I keep writing them. So one of these days, yep. they'll get it. <laughs> yep. Um, what else? Great. Customer service ideas, ladies. Oh, I have. Oh, go ahead. No, no. You, you talked first. Oh. So <laughs> at my party, at my party that I just did, uh, that I, I had 15 people there and uh, 17 people there. And we had a little, me, a little crown from the dollar store just because she was, she was being funny. And so I brought that to the party and I held it up and I made a big deal out of it. And I said, every time we talk about your follow-up appointment, the first person to say follow-up appointment gets the crown and the person who ends up with it at the end of the experience today gets this free gift and i just had a lotion that was uh limited edition wrapped up beautifully it had tool on it it was just gorgeous and so um i when i delivered some product to because i didn't have everything with me and i went and i delivered some product to this one gal and her son was home she was she was supposed to be home and she wasn't and i told him <laughs> Tell her to give me a call because, um, you know, I, I wanted to talk to her about her product. She texted me and said, I want to schedule my follow-up appointment with you. Oh. We said it so many times during the party. They say that to say it at least seven. We probably said it 15 or 20. So that it gets it in their head. And so that's another good, great way for customer service to be able to, so I'm calling you to schedule your follow-up appointment You're because now they're expecting it. So one thing I do with the follow-up appointment thing is uh, I try to at the beginning I'm like everybody's entitled to a follow-up appointment. So if you could write on the top of your profile card what works better, evening, afternoon, weekday, or weekend. Nice. And then when you call them, like oh you said your follow-up appointment was good for weekend evenings. Do you prefer Saturday or Sunday? So. <laughs> right. <laughs> Who else, Pam? Oh, do that. The crown. I actually do that for my hostess. They were like, oh, oh, oh. But anyway. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
when I'm actually delivering products, even at the party, I take them out of the box. Mm -hmm. yeah. So if you don't have a, if you don't have it already wrapped up in roll up bag, and they buy it separate, I actually take it out of the box. Hmm. So they have to. Use Right. But, but, but legally, they're supposed to have the boxes as well. They should. They yeah. haven't asked for them. Oh, they don't. <laughs> <laughs> I did not know that about the boxes. All right, so I have a little thing I've been doing. So I actually won this random gift bag from Humble Coffee. They like gave me some random salon 21 gift bag that has a gift certificate to the hair salon. Uh, some hair products and different random products that I won't use. And I'm like, yeah, why don't I just re-gift it? So I took pictures and I posted on Facebook and I'm like, hey guys, I got this random awesome gift, but I want to re-gift it to you guys, my friends who are helping me build my business. So what I need you to do is I need you, I need your face. So number one, everyone who gets a facial, even if it's just a facial in the bag, you get one um, entry into the drawing. Anyone who, um, orders any item that they order they get another entry for each thing that they order each item that they order and then if they sign up if they listen to the career chat they get another one if they sign up as one of my ladies they get 10 entries and then i've just been building it in putting everyone's name in and i think i'm going to do it every two months this one i'm just going to use my free one that i got but next month i'll probably just build a really cool mary Kay basket or something for them to win and every two months it's a good way to get your faces in i've gotten 30 faces every month since i started i'm going to make sure i do it to get free seminar and so it's such an easy way to make sure that you're getting your 30 faces and then they get a prize and i'm going to do a facebook live drawing that way they see that i'm pulling it out and i show the name and it gets everyone excited mm -hmm. so i'm i'm really excited about it because this first one is just a trial but it's gotten really really good results so far and People are excited. They look at my post on Facebook and they're like, oh, well, I want an entry. Give me a facial and a bag. I'll try it. So, pretty awesome. Cool. Anything uh, from this side of the room? So, I'm going to talk about this. Yes. Start talking baskets right now. You can hear me. No, my mother's eight baskets. I'm going to start calling them as soon as I pop them in. Yeah. Um, Plus you'll find stragglers around there. Okay. But <laughs> so I texted all my girls. But if you can still find Easter clearance, not everything is labeled Easter. And it's colorful and bright. So I've been packaging people's products in it, but it makes really cute Mother's Day stuff yeah. because it's like those pastels and everything like that. Um, I've got I like clearance. It was like 90% off at Target. So show your guinea bag. Oh yeah. These are Okay, so these are kind of multi-purpose. So, pink printing, I love. And what is it? We, I was saying that in the car, and people were laughing at me, but it's Admin Appreciation Week. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Administrative Assistant Appreciation yes. Week. That's, well, those are separate, but oh. <laughs> my husband made these, so these might not be perfect. Oh, he has to work. So, um, but I ordered these from Pink Printing. In the back of it, and she talked about this in a live video, but it says $25 off an awesome set on the back. She said if you're not comfortable with getting that much, you can cover it with the label. I stuck my label on the back of these, but you guys can pass them around if you want. So it's busy women. So I was looking for like teacher appreciation stuff. Ooh. And the admin banner. And I added it up with all the candy. I spent a dollar, like 19 per bag. I'll throw them back in. Um, so it's not bad at all, price wise. That is cute. Those are adorable. Cake printing is pretty cool. Yeah. Don't get sucked in though. You can buy a lot of yeah. stuff from that place. Yeah. You have to go there with like. <laughs> I almost made it. Almost. You have to get on yeah. cake printing with a specific yeah, project in mind. Oh yeah, and you can so share because they come Walmart, in big bulk. They were three forty-seven for a hundred, and then okay, if you guys want to laugh, my Easter grass is inside. I put a little bit of Easter grass oh, in all of them, and that these are from Pink Printing too. So I brought these. These are spring ones that I'm going to take out tomorrow. What is this one thing? Oh, these are ten dollars. Okay. Yeah, so those pay ten dollars for being my guest. Oh, that's cool. Oh, wow. that's cool. But they're, uh, I like having something to hand people. 
But I think for a specific goal, these work really well. They're like a little bit more than I would normally spend giving people. Yeah, as long as out. you're getting when you give, yes, make you get sure you back. get. Do not give unless you are getting something yeah. in return. But these I'm taking to my daughter's school, and I only ordered fifty cards, so I'm going to be very specific about who I give them to because I don't normally spend that much on people I haven't met, don't know. So uh, I do want to warn you guys though. When you put chocolate in a goodie oh, bag, yeah. make sure you give them out right away. Otherwise, they'll melt. And I only did a And they make a mess. I or if somebody opens them and they're all melty. But there's 50, and most of the printed stuff is like 50 in a pack. I only did, I think there's 24 in here. Because those can go out this week to get those out. So I only did 24. And um, I did leave chocolate in the cards of 50%. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, so and then all your goodie bags are ruined. And you're and yeah. you spent money. They're perfect. Yeah. They're really, really cool. <laughs> and you can even, like, without doing pink and printing, you can just go and do something on an app real quick. Yeah, go pink, print it out. Collage. The collage is amazing. Yeah. That's how I did my mascara. I did the black and white my facial paper in here. It's still cute. Pinterest has yeah. all those stuff. You can save it like I do it on my them. phone so I save yeah. the picture. I like all of it. No, I told her Edward, I told her she he's fired because he messed one up. Oh. Okay, I like that idea. Oh shit. Normally, when I take these out, I only do something like this because there's two Hershey kisses in there that cost like five cents, mm -hmm. and the card's like ten cents. Which one is that? Where do you get those little bags from? Uh, I got these from Walmart. You can get them from Hobby Lobby and stuff. These were a hundred for three dollars and forty-seven cents, so it's a little bit more than I had spent. But they have a tapered edge. Okay. So they bunch up better than the ones that aren't tapered, and they look cuter. Oh. Are those very feelable? Are they my own? I should use. No, I like the staples. Staples? Okay. It's amazing. Yes. With their price? Yes. Actually, I got a thousand labels for like nine, ten bucks. Yeah. Ten bucks. And they're cute. You can, you can open one and take my label out. It's actually really cute. And they uh, they do not stick to product, but they work really well for uh, paper. paper. They stick to the boxes, but not the plastic. Mm -hmm. They're not reorder labels. Not reorder labels, but they're cute. And they have makeup brushes on them. Oh, that is cute. Yeah. I know. That's I good like for catalogs. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think you should really yeah. Oh, and if you guys have ordered a bunch of catalogs and you have leftovers from prior times, what I do is put my reorder label on it and then I put them in my purse and every time I go to like the doctor's office, I just lay it on there. Also, you can put, um, you can just write on there, um, 20% off when you tell me where you got right. the catalog. Yeah. And that way, um, that way they're more apt to spend 10%, 20, whatever, mm -hmm. however much you feel comfortable. Doing. I you use it for business. business. You what? You don't know a lot of business stuff? No, but I just feel good using them for something. <laughs> I love, okay. So it's going to pay off one day, you know what I mean? And so they're just going to get, I don't want to. Oh, someone's so much to do. It's so lazy. Sorry, I learned that today. I was so excited about it. Cool. So are we ready to do an empowering statement, ladies? Yes. Real quick, I wanted to say something. Oh, you can give it, you can use those magazines and give like, if they're old, give them to your, a, a customer that has a job somewhere. Oh, okay. And, and, and give it as a customer incentive. To get those out and when someone contacts me, they get stuff too. That's a good idea. Yeah. Good idea. Awesome. All right, <laughs> you're empowering us. I'm empowering? Yeah. I'm getting yeah. tired. Yeah. 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 Do you have yeah. my script so I can empower no. you? Or you just yell? I don't know what to say. <laughs> you well, know it. You are awesome. I don't know. I can't I am it. great. Oh, I, I am great. great. I am wonderful. I am wonderful. I am a woman of excellence. I am a woman of excellence. I am a I am a superstar. I will let nobody push my buttons. I will let nobody push my buttons. I will let nobody rain on my parade. I will let nobody rain on my parade. I will go over. I will go over. I will go under. I will go under. I will go around. I will go around. And I will go straight through. And I will go straight through. Any obstacle that comes my way. Any 